Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. We are trying out a $170 concealer from Serge Luton. Grab your barf bags. I know it makes me uneasy that this is so much money. I'm kind of like, Ugh, yuck. But is it different? Is it magic? We are about to find out and let's just get right to applying the product. I'm gonna scoot you guys a little bit closer and we are going to try this crazy expensive concealer on. The first thing that I would like to go over is that even though this is a $170 compact of concealer and it does come with the mini brushes, the mini brushes are just not, no, they're still just really hard to grip onto. I guess if you were taking this on the go and touching up, which hopefully you wouldn't have to because hopefully this concealer is magical and you don't ever have to do touch-ups. Um, but if you were going to touch your concealer up, then maybe this would come into play, but I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna use this concealer brush from Chanel and uh, you know, keeping it fancy. So what I'm gonna do here is take a little bit of the peach and just a touch of the yellow in here. And I am going to Wow, that is a lot. That's very coveragey, like super coverage. Okay. I'm just kind of feathering it on. I barely grabbed any. So, I mean, that's good. I mean, it's going on nice. It really is, but so does my Maybelline Fit Me. Right, so that did a pretty excellent job. I'm not gonna like tell you that it's crappy just because I hate the price of this. Um, it did a nice job, but honestly, I'm always impressed after I put my concealer on because I hate how like bluish and purple and like my dark circles, I always feel better. It doesn't matter what concealer I use. I always feel better after concealer, so. I think the big test for me is wear time and if it creases or if it doesn't. So I'm gonna repeat the same step on the other eye. It is extremely pigmented. I barely like went zoop, like barely in there. So this would last you a very long time. It's creamy, but it almost has a powdery finish, which is nice. It blends really beautifully with a brush. See what happens when I tap it with my fingertip. I prefer daily wet concealers and then I just, you know, kind of blend them in with a dampened beauty blender. That's just been my favorite. But this is nice. It is really nice. It has a similar feel to the La Mer concealer. I was about to say the La Mer concealer is only $80 or something like that. That's still a crap ton of money. It's just compared to 170. You feel like, yeah, that's, I mean, that's like half price of this. What I was told at the counter is the Serge Luton's line is created as a couture makeup line. It is very exclusive, very expensive. The line is not very um, full as far as you don't have many colors to choose from. I feel like the line is definitely geared toward Caucasian women. Um, I don't know how I feel about that, that they don't have color, like different colors. I did find it kind of odd that they only have one shade of everything for the most part and with exception of lipsticks, but like the blush, there's just one shade. The powders, you know, there's like not a lot to choose from. So uh, the other thing that I thought was interesting is I couldn't find any information online. You really get the breakdown of what your eyes can see in the compact. It'll say, you get three cream concealers. You can blend them together to create your perfect shade and you get a setting powder. And it's kind of like, well, when I open the compact up, I can see that. What I want to know is why is it $170? right? I'm impressed that it's pigmented. It's a nice smooth formula. I would expect that it would be good, you know, like for the price it has to be good, but it's not any better than a lot of the concealers that I already own and love that are not as expensive. So what I'm going to do now is put on my foundation and then I am going to highlight and spot conceal a little bit. So hold tight. So I now have my foundation on, which by the way, if there's something crazy expensive out there that I truly love, I have no issue saying it. This Lemire foundation is so, so good. It's definitely in the top five. I tried this last week during WTF. I will link that below. 
it's incredible. So I have my foundation on. I am going to put a little bit more concealer underneath my eye. I'm going to go in more of a triangle shape, keeping it really light because I have it layered underneath as well. But I just want to bring a little bit of brightness back underneath the eyes. All right, so before it creases too much, I am going to go in and use the powder in here. It's at the bottom and I'm going to set the under eye area. That is a white powder. <laughs> I don't know that I like how like white that is. It's a little bit too much. Hopefully once I put other makeup on top, it'll kind of, I don't know. I don't know how I'm liking that. I am going to use the lightest shade in here and go down the bridge of my nose to highlight. And now I'm going to take a little bit of the darker shade, which is not too dark. Um, it's the darkest in this quad. And I'm going to mix some of the lighter in with it and try to get a shade that is exactly like my skin tone to conceal this guy up here. I'm not loving it for a highlight if you can, I hope you can see because my camera is very high def, but it's breaking up on the tip of my nose. It's just not, it's not wanting to sink in and I don't have any powder on my face yet. So that's kind of strange. Usually my concealers just sink right in. I'm going to finish up my makeup and then we will check back in. And we're back and my makeup is complete and I love my makeup today. I love the eye makeup. I love the lip. I love the whole fall thing. It goes with my shirt. Like I'm really enjoying this makeup. So it's kind of throwing me off having to check in with just the concealer. But I want to say, you know, and you guys saw this as I was applying it, it did crease right away, which kind of made me go, if I'm going to shell out $170 for Haute Couture like premium concealer. I don't want any creasing, so that kind of threw me off. I was able to pat away the creases and set it with the powder, which was a little bit on the bright light side. I am curious to look at this footage and see how it goes because initially putting it on, it was very powder white and I'm not a big fan of that. And the concealer for the face just did not work. I wouldn't recommend it. It's not pigmented enough to really cancel out any scars, sunspots, any of your pigmentation. You might have an issue with that. I know I did. I feel like I kind of have a circle around the sunspot, which is maybe drawing more attention to the area I was trying to cover up. What I reach for is my Dermacolor, not as expensive. And this is super, super pigmented for spot concealing. I always use that. So I wanted to throw this in the mix and let you guys know. But right now I am going to go and be about my day. I will take you with me. We will do some close-up zooms and see how this concealer is performing, if it creases anymore and all of that good stuff. So. I'll check in with you guys in just a little bit. We are in a little bit of a light traffic. Let me show you. This is typical just afternoon, not even rush hour. Why? Why? So many cars. Anyway, we are headed over to the new home and I wanted to do a check-in and let you guys know concealer's doing okay. I like my Tarte Shape Tape so much better. Altoid is killing me. Woo! To the Altoid challenge. Let's not. My nostrils are burning every time I breathe <laughs> through my nose. Um, okay, so the concealer is, it's good concealer. It's doing a good job. It kind of creased. I don't think it should have done that for $170. Also, the powder left it really light and white under here, and I'm not enjoying that. Hey, I'm just not. You. What? I have a question. Yeah. You just said that that was a good concealer. The con but the powders. Wait, wait, wait. You said it was a good concealer. The powders were horrible. But it creased and you don't like the color. So why are you saying it's even good? You're right. I take it back. This concealer is horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. It has decent pigmentation and it went on really smooth, but it did crease. Nope. Don't you know like what it. I don't like about it? 
Oh, please give me your input. I think oh, the, what? I think the price is absurd. Yeah, it is. I mean, seriously, you could probably get more wear, better coverage out of something that's seventeen dollars from the drugstore. Well, at the drugstore, it's not going to be seventeen dollars. Well, hey, what about that uh, little Maybelline stick that you love so much? Yeah, it's like ten bucks. There you go. So not even seventeen. Yeah. All right, guys. So I think that this is the the check-ins are going to be downhill from here. But I did still want to show you guys how everything is going. This is what we got going on. It's a little chalky, a little creasy, not my fave. So it is now the twilight hour. I have had this concealer on all day and I just wanna zoom you guys in and show you the raw, real deal. Look at how crappy that looks. I mean, it's blotchy. It's not covering as well as I want it to. It's creasing, it looks dry. I, this product does not make any sense to me whatsoever. $170, are you kidding me? I would much rather be wearing my Shape Tape or even my Maybelline. So I'm still sticking with my thoughts that this is way overpriced and I don't like it. But you know what? We're gonna keep on with the check-ins and I will see you guys in a little bit. So I was thinking about it as I just, you know, gave you guys my final verdict basically and then said I would do another check-in. This is the last check-in, this is it. I thought maybe in my mind as the day was going that I could say, hey, it's really long wearing and that's something cool about it. But I just don't like how dry and creasy and just, weird i don't know it's just not my favorite even if i was using this and it was only twenty dollars you know comparing it to tarte comparing it to some of my other favorite concealers this just wouldn't measure up so with that alone i'm going to say this is a fail it is a pass but holy crap wtf why on earth is a concealer 170 dollars to begin with that's what i really want to know what's in there that makes it worthy of that price. I don't think we'll ever find out. Hey, so I know it's in there. What? A lot of profit. So you guys, I've enjoyed my makeup, like the color, the lips, the everything else, but this concealer, it's not good. I'm closing this video down. We are done. On to something crazy expensive next week. So I hope you enjoyed me trying this product out. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.